Well, here's a piece of misinformation, so let's dissect it a little bit, shall we? Now, over here, we have Obama saying, we can't drill our way out of high gas prices. And it goes on to say, average price of gasoline in 2012 was $4 a gallon. But Obama was correct about drilling our way out of high gas prices. It's nearly impossible. Because, as we have seen under the Biden administration, OPEC will just continue to cut production to keep oil prices high. Notice they didn't put the 2015 and 2016 price averages on there. They put the highest price average. In 2015, it was under 220 a gallon. In 2016, it was like 230 something a gallon was the national average under Obama those last two years. Now, on the other side here, we have Donald Trump, who said, we will start a new energy revolution. And then it goes on to say, 2018, we became a net exporter. It also says 2018 U.S. gas, 250 a gallon, which is not true. Gas averaged about 280 a gallon in uh, 2018, and we were only producing 11 million barrels a day, over 2 million barrels a day less than we're producing now. So why was gas 280 when we were producing 11 million barrels a day? Why is gas more now? than it was then when we were producing a lot less. Because we were importing nearly 10 million barrels of oil a day. We were reliant on foreign oil. That's how we had low gas prices under Donald Trump. We were reliant on foreign oil. Today, we import nearly three and a half million barrels a day less than we did in 2018. And that is why gas prices are higher. All these people think that we're importing more, and that's why gas prices are higher, which is ridiculous. The more, the more oil you import, the cheaper your gas is. Foreign oil is cheaper than American oil. Why are we importing less? Because under this administration over here, we lost 12 refineries and a million barrels a day of refining capacity. Why did we lose 12 refineries and a million barrels a day of refining capacity? Cheap gas! Cheap gas! Cheap oil! You know, just because OPEC can't put our oil and gas industry out of business, they did put 12 of our refineries out of business. And let's not forget, some of that occurred at the insistence of this guy right here. At the insistence of this guy right here. Thanks.